couple of really nice bucks there. Uh, this little bachelor group I've been watching for a few weeks now. It's early August and seeing this really brings a lot of hope to the upcoming season. But that brings a point up that you need to remember, just because they're here now and you're picking them up doesn't mean they're going to be here in a month when the season opens. You know, this is the season that we're seeing these deer out in the fields. There's less pressure on them, no pressure basically. There's um, different food sources and that's why they're here. Now later in the season when these fields change, we will pick the deer up in here. We will pick them up deer in the rut. But coming first season, if I hunt those deer like I'm scouting in them right now, I'm not going to kill one of them. And what I'd like to do is talk about why. The reason is, like right now, these hay fields have recently been cut. So we have nice, fresh, green growth popping up in them. And after the last rains of the last couple of days, they're really green and lush. So these deer come out and start feeding. They start feeding early. But that's going to change here in a month. What happens? We have to look at it for the time of season we're hunting. The white oaks start dropping. When the white oaks start dropping, we're going to catch these deer up in the woods more so. And they're going to be hitting those food sources. So that's what we have to key in on. Additionally, another factor that takes place when these deer go hard horn, they are going to break these bachelor groups up. You know, they'll be setting up the hierarchy of the herd, especially some of your old, older bucks will move to totally different areas. And um, that's a real common thing. People get disappointed all the time. Like, I watch this deer, I watch this deer, I watch this deer, and then boom, he's disappeared. And they're like, he's probably got hit by a car, or dogs killed him, somebody's poached him. And then, you know, lo and behold, after season's out or the next summer, here he is back. He's changed home ranges. He changes as the environment changes. And an example of this is, again, we have the white oaks falling here in September. They're going to start dropping. The deer are going to move on those white oaks first thing. Later on in October, the white oaks will start playing out and these bucks are going to start expanding the ranges, but the food source is going to become more red oaks up in there. And so they may be scattered out in different pockets. So they're going to be moving, you know, hitting these red oaks, moving to a little bit different area and expanding the range out where they're getting ready for the pre-rut. When the pre-rut comes in, they're going to start marking territories. A lot of deer move during this time period into completely different areas again. And then when the rut comes, who knows? We may be here and there may be a 170 buck pop out in here that I've never seen. Um, it's just the way it is. The bucks are roaming, they're looking for does, they're looking for new territories. So it changes as the rut progresses and you don't know what's happening then. Then post rut, what happens? Well, a lot of these bucks will be right back here uh, in this area, coming back to you know their late winter range and um, early spring range. So we'll start seeing them back in these areas. They'll start in the next summer, this group will be back. We watched them last year. Gabe yeah, got to hunt these bucks right at the first of the season, but once the white oak started falling and we got a little bit in October, you know, they disappeared out of here. And plus hunting pressure got put on the woods uh, surrounding this area. And so uh, it was blowing things out. So look at the environmental factors that change your deer's habits throughout the year. Uh, this is a great example and um, I'm very hopeful for my son. I'm out here, you know, just getting to come out in the evenings and do some stump shooting and uh, look and see what deer in the area. I will be concentrating on those oaks early, but uh, you know, half of these bucks won't be here once they go hard horn. So just remember that seasonal changes, your deer change. So don't look at, don't hunt a buck that hears the here today, don't hunt him for being here. What you see today, 
when it comes, you know, September, late September, early October, because he may be, he's going to be a totally different animal, and he may be in a totally different place. So you have to key in and find those spots and move to those if you want to chase the same deer. So just remember that.